What's going on guys and welcome to a week long cold start with the crossfire. It's been a minute and it sits at an angle. But anyways, today we got a few things going for us. I'm just gonna get straight to the point because you see the title, but we got some AN6, negative AN6 or something like that. Hose line, three eighths. And then we got the brand new catch can. This thing is fucking beautiful. I know I always go red. If y'all saw my first video, my other cash can is red. But the reason I'm getting this is plain and simple. I'll show you this. This is designed straight out of the design for the Mission Moto cash can, where it comes with three ports, two little, two filters, baffles, all that stuff. So we just got to get a few more parts, two more mounts, a few more screws, a few more. Uh, few more adapters because these are too big for my hose these are half inch instead of three eighths i believe so got to get some new some of those and then we'll get this installed but uh yeah this should look very nice in manager bay because my original cash can is mounted straight behind the grill so you never see it and i never mounted it properly so we're gonna do this one a lot more legit today plus it feels it feels really good like this is this is good quality for ebay but anyways Let's go ahead and get to the road and uh, find some auto shops and get the parts we need. All right, we just pulled up to Ace Hardware. Gonna try to get some fittings for this so I can run this hose. I'm taking both in just so I get the measurements right because I hate getting them wrong. But anyways, let's go ahead and get in there. All right, so we are back after a long fucking trip inside Ace Hardware, but we got a lot of Ace's hardware for the catch can. Uh, the easy part uh, was the, uh, just dropped one. Easy part was getting the little bar fittings, they're brass, so this will basically turn into a gold cash can, but I'll show you real quick what it'll look like. I'd get three of these. I hope I don't scratch this, dude. This is such a nice finish and I'm not trying to scratch it. Go ahead and take this shit off. I don't know if y'all have ever been Ace Hardware, but they have like popcorn at the register and that shit smells so fucking good. Like I was really tempted to buy some, I'm pretty sure it's only like a dollar. If we get this, should be able to, if I did my measurements right, get on like that. I think it's a longer fitting, but I mean, it'll work. He almost fucked that dude's mirror up. He did fuck that dude's mirror up. He literally, <laughs> wow, the people in this world, dude. Look at this. So the dude was parked right in front of me. He, it was a dude in a truck. He literally left his door open, backed up into that lady's mirror and just kept going. Like, SMH. So just so y'all can see this, what the cash can now looks like with the brass fittings. It looks decent, not my kind of taste, just cause it's kind of loud out there, but I mean, it'll work. This never gets old, dude, but anyways, I'm on the way back to the dorm right now, cause that's like the only place I can park and get shade and work on the car. And um, it's funny cause when I usually work on the car at school, People always ask, like, if my car is good. Like, for the most part, yes, my car is good. I'm just working on, like, I guess they're not used to people working on the car in the lot. But, I mean, then again, I appreciate people who do stuff like that. So, that's always a good thing. This car just sounds so good, dude. I just can't get over it. But we're almost at the dorm right now. I've been working on exams all fucking week. I'm trying to get this video out tonight. So, if you see it Friday night, then that's today. And I blessed you with a good video because I've just been swamped with fucking work and shit trying to finish up school as you heard in my previous videos. But anyways, this is my day off since I just got out of work. So, or out of school, it basically is work. Back at the dorm now and I just got the first fitting coated with Teflon tape. Um, using it sparingly just to make sure I have enough for all three ports. But uh, yeah, this should be pretty easy. So just to update, of course, like every car part, we're having trouble installing it because the screws are stripped in the top of the bracket, so I can't take it off to mount it. What's going on, guys? And we're on to the next bay, and as you can see, got the car back running. Pretty much got the cash can installed, but obviously ran into a lot of trouble, so that's why I didn't really record because it was getting dark out, and me being me, I was trying to finish the cash can install. But anyways, I was trying to finish the catch can install, so that's why I went ahead and installed it and didn't show you guys the rest. Because one, the lines that I got didn't fit. They were 3 8 which is what I normally use for a fuel line. But sadly, 
because they were like reinforced and braided and all that, they didn't fit. They ended up cracking whenever I tried to put them on. So I had to just get some regular um, 3 8 fuel line. And then for the catch can itself to mount it, you had to unscrew the little black bracket that I showed you like when I first uh, opened it. The screws are stripped. They used Loctite or something on it. So basically that didn't work. Had to bend the bracket to get it on and fit a screw through there and then actually mount it properly. So I went to Ace Hardware, which is literally right there that I'm passing like three times. And it was pretty embarrassing. But anyways, right now we're going on a drive just to like test it out because it should work a lot more efficiently than my last one. I had the last one on for about a, two years now. And it seemed to work at first. It would collect a little bit of oil here and there, a little bit of fuel here and there, but it had zero baffles. So this will be like the real test because I could drive that one like 10,000 miles and they'll barely collect like anything maybe like a couple milliliters or something like that so hopefully this one will do a lot better i'm about to take it straight to the mountains get it ripping and running for a little bit i'll be able to see some good pulls since i'm in uh mexico of course Mex the mexican mountains but uh, i'm gonna get some good pulls in and you guys will be able to see if it actually like catches anything i know it's not gonna be like 500 miles it's gonna be like 30 miles but still give us a rough idea so we're officially on the mountains of mexico and uh, as you can hear, get a little, get a little, get a little something going. I haven't driven these roads in so fucking long. I think last time we went here, I was hiking with some buddies. But we could definitely give her the beans up here because it's all trees, all Mexican highways. It's really pretty. I could. I wish I could like actually show you, but these roads are too like windy and shit to actually like show you. That's why I've never really showed you guys up here because I've driven up here a lot within the previous years, but I never really had a mount to like I do now, so I can actually show you what it's like. My facial expressions when I'm driving and shit. But one day we'll get another mount and we'll get the like frontal view, or I'll just get one of those uh, lame ass head cams or some shit. I think those look silly. I tried to rig one up myself, but it just looked real dumb and stuff. I just couldn't see myself driving with that and people seeing me driving with that, but... What I will say, like, right off the bat, right off the rip, I've changed a lot to this, not a lot, but a lot for me on this car since I've last driven on this road. One, I've gotten the muffler deleted. Two, I got the trans cooler mounted. Three, I've gotten the new cash cam, which I just installed, obviously. And what I can say is it feels a lot faster. I will say that. Oh, and I did the, I cleaned the air filter and I cleaned the mass airflow sensor. Most of the mass airflow sensor is what I'm like leaning on because that's what, uh, that what, that's what hasn't been cleaned since this car was uh, really bought, honestly, because who, who really cleans those? But anyways, this car feels really good right now. It feels real strong. Last night, um, when I was driving down on the highway or down the downtown and stuff, when I would like barely get on it, it would like start spinning like, um, as it do right here. But yeah, it would start spinning like, you know how like Hellcats and shit, like when you lay on, lay on the gas, it would just start spinning. It start doing that shit. And right now while I'm driving it, it just pulls hard and stuff. It might be a combination of the weather, um, the cash cans mounted in a better place, it's filtering better, uh, the baffles, and uh, it's a lady right there. Pretty much everything about the cash can is, it flows a lot better, I'll tell you that. It's not wide as long. I had like 20 feet of hose in the last setup. This one has maybe five foot of hose total, like it's right by where it needs to be. So it's set up perfectly. Muffler delete obviously opens it up a little bit. I got it mostly for sound, but apparently it can add up to like three to four horsepower. So if you're taking all the mods that I've done and do a little butt dyno test on it, then I should be reading around like 220 horsepower. I'm up I'm gonna give it that estimate. I'm not gonna say 225 because I doubt it's doing that. Because it comes stock, I think 218. So I think I can safely say that I've added at least two horsepower and a buttload of torque i'll tell you that for sure it's definitely a lot more torque now but um our goal for this drive is one just to sit down and talk with you guys get some content created dude these roads are beautiful dude 
I wish I could see that. But um, just drive around, get a little feel for the road, get a new feel for the setup, push it a little bit because I've never pushed it really since I've gotten the monthly lead and stuff because I've been too worried because it's loud. But um, we want to do all this, push a little bit, and then at the end of this, check the catch can because apparently from the reviews I've seen of good catch can setups, if you take your car to the track after about a couple laps of track use, mostly for turbo cars, but after a couple uh, laps of track use, you should start seeing blow-by build up in your cash can. So that's the goal, that's what we're aiming for. Although it'd be good to see there's no blow-by, because that shows that your engine's working properly and not producing too many, um, too much blow-by and pistons and stuff like that. But that was weird. We are elevating and um, we are elevating. We are experiencing elevation, so I'm also trying to see how this car works with that because it's got to adjust all that. But like I said, we're just mainly seeing if the cash can catch anything. This will be a fun little drive, too. So we are almost at the, the fun portion. So once we get to that, I'll tune back in to you guys and I'll catch you later. Uh, we're getting to the fun part. Got a stop sign up here. I don't know what my deal is. I never really fully get into it, but now it's pretty much close. But um, it just feels really good now. I don't know like which mod exactly it is, or if it's just me like taking care of the car a little better than I normally do. But it it just feels healthy. It pulls hard. It sounds fucking good as hell now. I think that was a major thing. Just chopping off that muffler. Like it feels so much so much better wide open throttle. Best way to describe this, and this is probably just because uh, I was talking to a buddy um, today about doing this tomorrow, but I probably won't. But the best way to describe this drive is like a miniature tail of the Dragon drive. Like it's not too long, but it's long enough to where you get a good feel. It's not as long as Nanchez Trace, obviously. It's about like a 30 minute drive down to the spot that we're going, and I'll show you guys once I get there. But it's about 30 minute drive. Covenant College. I think that's the all girls preparatory school but in mexico of course but what was i saying i don't remember there's so many curves and shit oh yeah this is like a miniature tail of the dragon much shorter than that a little bit short or a lot shorter than Natchez trace obviously but it's long enough to where you get you get a kick out of it you get what you came for you're not too tired after this drive you've had like just enough it's about 30 minute cruise ripping through all these corners, like literally non-stop corners until we get up to a road which is not too far from here. Probably like 10 minutes I want to say from here. And that's where we could really let her open, let her eat the beans. But right now we gotta slow down because there's school and stuff. All right, we've made it through that part and now we're getting on to the part where this is some long stretches and this is honestly the fun part. I hope I can pass these people go ahead and check on the catch can real quick see how it's doing it's probably gonna be too hot of course you got the view and stuff this is a really nice spot like a pop of fucking hood it's probably gonna be too hot Yeah, that's the cash can for the auto cannon. Three ports, simple setup, not gonna really explain it. But I think it does its job. guys so it's the next day i've driven the car for about i want to say like 50 miles something like that something real light like i haven't driven anywhere far just daily commuting getting stuff to eat and stuff like that but i want to show you guys something really interesting i've had this cash can for literally a day on this car not even driven 50 over 50 miles but look at this 
it's empty, but I want to show you something else. If you come look at the baffles, they coated with oil. And this is a really good sign after, like, look at that. After only like 50 miles, not even that. I don't know if you can see that, because I can't. That's the other baffle. But yeah, that's crazy. Screwing this back on right now. Like it just sounds, it sounds so much out there. They said cash can. So I don't normally do this, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna include a link to that exact cash can that I got in the description. So if you wanted to go check it out, feel free to, and it'll help the channel out if you uh, end up buying one. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. God, that sounds so good. Goodness. That just sounds, that sounds throaty. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like, subscribe. Go check out the catch can in the link below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.